What is going on everybody? Noble here with you guys today. In today's video, we're going to try to keep it short, but we got a question from a longtime subscriber and actually good friend of the channel, and he wants to know how you go ahead and separate your audio in OBS. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Uh, we've actually got OBS right here. I know we're going to have a little bit of inception on this, but try to stick with me. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that your uh, sources are actually set to the right thing. So in order to do that, uh, you click on your gear icon here and you go to properties to make sure everything is set to the right thing. Now this is my desktop. So for this, we're going to be using speakers. And then for your microphone, you want to do the same thing. Click on the gear icon, move to properties, and then make sure that your mic is set to whatever your microphone is actually supposed to be set to. Now you may have a lot of other uh, sources here, depending on what you've got hooked up. You may have webcams, you may have other things. Just make sure that your sources are set correctly. Now after that, in order to go ahead and separate your microphone audio, all you have to do is click on your gear icon and go to advanced properties. Now from here, you'll see a full list of whatever it is that you guys have hooked up. Once again, I just cleared everything out. So I have the very basics right now, but over here on tracks is what you want to pay attention to. So if you want to separate your microphone audio from your desktop audio, all you have to do is uncheck this one and move it to two or anything else that is free. Now I do want to warn you guys, if you're going to be streaming, uh, you actually have to uh, have either one set up like this or have one and two set up for your microphone. The reason for that is that if you're streaming and if you have this off, your stream is actually capturing your desktop audio and your microphone will not be picked up for your stream. So it might be a little bit confusing, but there's three different ways to do this. You can have it set up just like this to where everything is mixed onto one audio source. Or if you want, you can have it like this to where your stream and your audio are going to be mixed into one. And then you can also have your audio as a separate file, or you can do it like this. If you're making uh, tutorials like I am or anything else where you're not necessarily streaming, where your desktop audio and your microphone will be completely separated into their own files. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, that's the best way I can explain it. That's the way that I do it. It works out well for me. So if you guys have any other questions, please let me know down in the comments. And as always, uh, just be awesome. The world's kind of crazy right now. Don't forget to maybe subscribe if you guys found this video helpful. And I'll see you guys next time.